Welcome to an example of partition division, also referred to as sharing or grouping division, or column division. We will consider the quotient 91 divided by 7. We will view this quotient as $91 divided by 7 to better understand the process. We can think of this quotient as having $91 and sharing it equally among seven friends, or having $91 and forming seven groups, with each group having the same amount of money. And the $91 consists of nine $10 bills and one $1 bill. The next step is to write this quotient in long division form. We have the dividend of 91 divided by the divisor of seven. And now we'll form a column for the nine $10 bills and the one $1 bill. To begin sharing, we first share the nine $10 bills among the seven friends. And because we have nine $10 bills, we know each friend will receive one $10 bill. We record a one in the tens place value of the quotient, or above the nine, representing the nine $10 bills. If each of the seven friends receive one $10 bill, we have now given out seven $10 bills. We record a seven below the nine and subtract. Also notice one times seven is seven. Nine minus seven is equal to two. This two indicates we still have two $10 bills to share among the seven friends. But because we cannot share the two $10 bills equally among the seven friends, we now perform an exchange. We exchange these two $10 bills for $21 bills. And because we already have one $1 bill, we now have a total of 21 $1 bills. We now share the 21 $1 bills equally among the seven friends. And because seven times three equals 21, we now know each of the seven friends can receive three $1 bills. If each of the seven friends receives three $1 bills, we have now given out seven times three or 21 $1 bills. We now record the 21 $1 bills we have given out. And notice 21 minus 21 is zero, indicating there are zero $1 bills remaining and we now know each of the seven friends can receive exactly $13, and therefore the quotient 91 divided by seven equals 13. I hope you found this helpful.